What is up, guys? This is Tristan, a.k.a. Young Pressure. Today, we're going over the four things you can do to make the most money in pressure washing. Before we start, if you can hit that subscribe button, we are posting weekly, multiple times weekly, so that your business can grow exponentially. I don't sell a course. I don't do anything like that. So that's about as much as I'm ever going to ask from you. So let's get right into it. The four things to make the most money. Number one is commercial. And uh, commercial is an interesting topic because I was discussing with a couple of my buddies and it's like, how can we get to $100,000 in a month, right? And if your mind can't fathom that right now, okay, that's fine. But how can we grow this thing so that it is so big that we can make it to $100,000 per month? And the first thing that came to mind within talking to guys that have done it is commercial. You've got to establish a presence within the commercial users, the commercial property managers, uh, the commercial regional managers, the commercial facility managers. How do I do this or how can I actually propel myself to a $100,000 a month is by you can go on LinkedIn and you can connect with these types of people. You're, you, the best way to sell something is to not sell anything at all. So you're just establishing a portfolio of undeniable truths on your LinkedIn. When people are searching through your LinkedIn, you're posting these beautiful before afters, you're posting these big jobs that you're at, you're posting great content on your LinkedIn so that it makes it very user friendly and they can flow through these stacks of truths, quote unquote, your portfolio of work. One way that I like to do this as well is I like to do this on boots on ground, meaning that I will walk into the facility and I'll ask who the decision maker is. I'll find who that decision maker actually is and then follow them on LinkedIn so that they can see my whole stacks of truths that I've done these big jobs, I've done these like these humongous jobs and so it gives them that rapport of, hmm, this guy's done this before. So, you know, logically thinking that he could probably do this job as well. It just makes sense. So you've got to start to establish a commercial presence. What else you could do is you could stop in at property management buildings. They usually have a allocated section towards property managers where they're just working on in there. And you can just stop in, give them a door hanger. Like I said, the best way to sell something is to not sell anything. So you just start to network with people and it starts to funnel into this big spider web because once you do great work with a couple of these property managers, they probably have buddies and they're like, hey, I know a guy, this guy does great work and they want great work. They'll pay for great work. So you've just got to start, you've just got to start establishing your presence within the commercial. Okay, so pivoting. Let's talk about marketing. Number two, marketing. Find what works within your audience. Whether you're in Florida, whether you're in Texas, whether you're in California, whether you're in Canada, whether you're in Germany, you need to figure out what is your best marketing tactic. I like yard signs. I like Google My Business. I like LinkedIn. I like door hangers. Um, but you need to figure out what is your best strategy because I know Facebook ads are are extremely effective in some markets. So test trial, and I'll get to this in a quick second within uh, another thing from a numerical standpoint, but you need to figure out what works best and then hone in on those and triple 10X, 100X down, do those things. The best way to propel your business is by doing the boring stuff over and over and over again. It's not a sexy thing, but as the uh, the marketing tactics, you know that they're effective and that you can do this for an elongated time. People start to recognize this. And I'll tell you this, within like yard signs and stuff, like if you could keep doing them over and over and over again, they're like, hmm, I've seen that yard sign before. I haven't done it before with these guys, but I actually need it now. And it becomes like a uh, familiar face. And uh, whenever you see a familiar face over and over and over again, it's kind of like talking to someone at the gym, right? Like the first time you see the face, you probably aren't going to go and talk to them. But as you start to see them more and more often at the gym, you're like, what's up, bro? You know, you're dapping them up. Uh, I, I saw a thing like how fast men can actually become friends with a, a, a gym member. And uh, it's the same premise is you just keep posting it 
over an elongated period of time, whether that's a Facebook ad, a yard sign, a LinkedIn post, people will start to trigger. So you just got to recognize this is a long play, but at the same time, you can start to get customers even as soon as now. So just figure out what marketing tactic works with you and hone in and 100x that. Okay, so transitioning and pivoting, number three is the mentality of things. And so the mentality of it, uh, when you know, you're trying to make the most money possible in pressure washing, you need to exclude the factor of a nine to five, a $20, $25 or even $30 hour task and now start to pivot into what would a business do or that's like a 250 to $400 per hour as a business. You need to recognize the numbers of this and you cannot be emotional towards asking for prices. If you are emotional towards money, it basically manipulates your business it manipulates your mindset so just ask for the price closed mouths don't get fed i talk about this all the time but closed mouths do not get fed so you've got to ask you've got to have the confidence to do so by having the confidence you can start to establish confidence by having these stacks of truths whether you've done a twenty thousand dollar job or not or even a thousand dollar job or not or even a five hundred dollar job or not or even if you're just getting started you've probably been confident sometime in your life so you need to basically duplicate that area of your life that time where you were very confident and then input it into your business because confidence is about everything whether you've kissed a girl then you can basically hey i've done this before so if I've done this before, I can probably do this. I'm a big believer. If you can do one thing, you could probably do it a hundred times. Um, so the mentality of it, that it is, there it is. And then the fourth thing is you've got to track your numbers. And this is basically how you can print money. I think this is probably one of the most important parts. Um, so you need to track, say I put out 300 door hangers. I get 30 leads off of it. Okay. So that's a one in 10. Every 10, I'm going to get one lead. Okay, that's a pretty good number, but uh, just hypothetically speaking, put it all in a sheet. Okay, so you can start to recognize, okay, I put out 300 door hangers, I got 30 leads. What was my closing percentage on the 30 leads? Was it 15 jobs? Was it 10 jobs? And then you can start to track it. So for every 300 door hangers, I get 15 jobs or I get 10 jobs. And you could do this with each and every single marketing tactic. So if you spend... 300 bucks on Facebook ads and I get 15 leads off of this and I close five jobs. Every $300 I spend, I get five jobs. So start to track this and start to track these numbers because this is how you can print money, guys. You can literally print money knowing that, hey, I'm going to allocate 300 bucks to, th to this and I'm going to get five jobs in return at an average ticket of a thousand bucks. So a $300 investment turns into a five thousand uh, dollar return so that's a pretty good return if you ask me <laughs> but to kind of regurgitate everything back to you commercial find out what works within marketing the mentality of it you know and then the tracking of numbers where you can basically print stuff out if you find any value within this video hit it with a like guys i'm posting weekly posting weekly Really, I've been posting daily over the past couple of weeks. I love making videos for you guys. And if you've got any like little success stories, uh, drop them down below. Um, but you know I love you guys. Uh, keep after it. Keep resilient. Keep persistent because you've got this. I'm going to get out of here. i got to get a little bit of pizza. <laughs> i got to get some food in me. But uh, good luck, guys. Much love. Peace.